Using cameras to monitor public spaces has a fraught history in popular opinion, and their appearance in the built environment can conjure fears about government control and surveillance. But what if there was an inexpensive way to learn more about how people move through the built environment, but without infringing on their privacy? At the University of Cambridge Computer Laboratory, researcher Matt Danish has been working on a device called Deep Dish that uses computer vision to capture the movement of people and vehicles through the built environment. We're able to get going really quickly on a prototype. We just 3D printed a case, put a Raspberry Pi in it, and some sensors from off the shelf. By testing low-cost prototypes, our team was able to try a number of different approaches to capturing the data that we needed. We can train a computer model with lots of images of people or bicycles or cars in a scenery, and then we can use those models to help track the movement of people or bicycles or cars through scenes shot by live video without storing the images and without storing any personally identifying information. Deep Dish doesn't store or transmit personally identifiable information by processing this information locally. However, we still need to consider security. Data about where people congregate or don't go in buildings and public spaces could be used to circumvent physical security measures and therefore needs to be incorporated within the data strategy as part of a security-minded organisation. So this is what we did to make it secure. A careful balance with the security and privacy aspects of Deep Dish's implementation of computer vision allows us to create an ethically and democratically sound way to plug computers into a camera in our public spaces. This in turn enables a whole host of autonomous systems to come into play that can help manage such systems as traffic management and building temperature. We know that using computers to recognise how people move through space can help with understanding their behaviour different times of day, or different seasons, and also in unusual and unexpected circumstances. Insights from Deep Dish and computer vision can help us develop buildings and public spaces that are better for users and society. <laughs>